Yo, what is up guys, it's Retro Giraffe. Welcome back to my channel. Hopefully everyone is doing well. Unfortunately for this video, I will not be having a face cam because my camera isn't working at the moment. But without further ado, let's get into this unboxing. As you can tell by the title, it is the True Steel Premium Collection, which feature the um, Sword and Shield Legendaries, which is Zacian and Zamazenta. So there are two different variants of this. This one is the Zamazenta variant with the Zamazenta figure, the pin, and also the promo card. And the other one is um, with a Zacian figure, pin, and a promo card as well. So that will be, um, I'll be shooting that video shortly after this one. But as you can see from the box, we have like the dichotomy between like the red and the blue, you know, representing the sword and the shield, um, legendaries respectively. So we have them down here. We have Zacian and Zamazenta, True Steel Premium Collection. And if we turn it over, this kind of shows you the contents. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, you get one promo card, you get one figure, one pin six booster packs and a code card so this box i actually bought from my local um comic book store which is third eye games so um please support your local lcs lgs which stands for local card shops or local game shops um it really helps them out so the retail for this was 30 dollars. and what the pokemon company usually does is they um usually consider one booster pack five dollars which is the regular msrp and since there are six booster packs that will usually count for the cost of the box and i consider the figure the pin and the promo card as all extras so yeah Without further ado, let's crack it open and see what we can get from this box. So let's start with this promo card right here. So we have a Zamazenta promo card, and it is the Galaxy Foil. I don't know how well the camera's gonna pick that up, but as you can see, we have like the little circle patterns in the background. Zamazenta, very nice card. And I like how they, you know, introduce this new system of like holding the cards. It's not like in like a little, um, if it were like it holds the card in place, it just sits right on top of it, so there's no damage to the card, which is very nice. So a Zamazenta promo. And next we have this pin right here, and for me personally, I'm not really a big fan of these pins unless they're made by Jamku. Shout out to you. But yeah, so these pins are kind of lackluster. They don't really do much for me. What I'm more excited about is this figure right here. So if you guys see this figure, it's pretty, the paint job is really good, especially on the face, like the detail, the separation between like the eyes and stuff, but the color separation, the sculpting, everything about this figure is very nice. And this figure also has like a very matte finish, so that's definitely a plus. But we have Zamazenta right here. Very detailed, um, like I said, very well sculpted. This color separation is very nice, especially on the face. So yeah, definitely gonna add this to the collection. Um, I love these figures. I think Pokemon does a very nice job with them. So yeah, so we have a Zamazenta figure for this one. And we have six booster packs. So we have two Darkness Ablaze, one Sword and Shield, one Team Up, and throwback to Burning Shadows. And personally for me, um, where I started getting back into collecting was Evolution. So we have all six of these packs. And this code card I will be sharing with you guys. So please let me know what you guys get from this. I low-key want to hold these two packs off for the end. So we'll hold these off to the end. And we'll actually start with the two Darkness of Blaze packs. So let's get right into it. And I actually just opened the Elite Trainer Box um, before this. So um, opening this pack feels a lot different from the Elite Trainer Box packs. Um, that's just a small little detail that I noticed. But yeah, so that's the code for you guys. Let me just organize this real quick. And leave Sword and Shield as forward to the front. So we're starting off with a Fighting Energy. Heat Energy. A Relicant, Zuelos, Rowlet, Wishiwashi, Qfont, Sinistee, Feebas, just lost in the middle of a lake. <laughs> Poor guy. A Tyranitar Reverse. I believe this is our second one, but very nice one to get. And we have a Volcarona non halo Very nice. On to our second and last Darkness of Blaze pack for this box. And for these collection boxes, I don't really know the pull rates. Um, I would assume it's probably two, maybe three if you're lucky. But we're starting off with the Fire Energy, a Ursa Ring, Heat Energy again, Simiseer, Dunsparce, Clink, a Marini. That's obviously from uh, Komiya, if you can't tell by the artwork. Very polarizing. A Claymation Torchic, a Starly, Spinarak. I actually like this artwork. Little Bubbles. I think it is. It's a reverse as well. And we have a light part. This is very iconic to the Sword and Shield game. It's always by that little hill by the bridge. So, And I like how they stay true to the actual game. So very cool. 
Uh, let's actually finish off with our last Sword and Shield era pack, which is Sword and Shield base with the Lapras artwork on the front. Can we pull a Marnie? That will be amazing. Unfortunately, I don't think so because it is a green code. But let's open this up and see what we can get. So we have a Lightning Energy, a Bisharp, Pokemon Catcher, Haunter. We have a Blipbug, Baltoy, Wulu, very cute, Joltik, a Solandit, Reverse Vitality Band, and a Rillaboom non hollow Very cool. Alright, let's get into our team up pack. After opening those team up tins, um, I really want to get a booster box of this and kind of have a complete set. I think completing a master set for the older Sun and Moon sets are going to be a little bit tougher because the set size is so big. It's like 200 plus cards. I think it's like 250 or something. It's just something insane. So. It'll be a little hard to get a master set, but still want to complete a regular standard set of it. So one day, but we're starting off with a Dark Energy, Charmeleon, a Morgan, Flaffy, Bronzor, Dratini, Tentacle, Ponyta, Alolan Grimer, a Reverse Absol, that's actually a pretty nice artwork with like the sun in the background. And we have a Blastoise non hollow Dang, the artwork is so sick. Low-key wish it was a holographic, but still, a very nice non hollow definitely. Um, so far, we didn't even get a single hit, so hopefully these last two packs, hopefully we can pull something. So let's go with, uh, let's go with Evolutions, save Burning Shadows for last. So Evolutions is where I actually started to get back into Pokemon. Another green code, come on, come on Pokemon, you can't be doing this. But yeah, so X and Y Evolutions is where I actually got back into Pokemon because it's just a huge nod back to base set. But let me actually organize this pile right here. So we're starting off with a Metapod. Ooh, okay, so we have a Secret Rare. We have an Imikunis Do Duo, very nice. We have a Haunter, Magnemite, Voltorb, Sandshrew, Poliwag, Diglett, a Reverse Drowsy, and we have a Electrode non hollow Okay, so it all boils down to this last pack right here. This last Burning Shadows pack. We didn't get a single holographic. It'll be crazy if we went 0 for 6, but please, please be a white code. Alright, so it is a white code, so definitely can be pretty excited for this one. Hopefully it's something good. So let's see what we can get from this pack. So we have a Water Energy, a Lana, Lana, however you want to say it. Tormenting Spray, Charmeleon, Dewpider, Togedemaru, Wimpod, Meowth, Magikarp, Electrike Reverse, and we have a Salazzle GX. Ah. So, I thought because it was fire, maybe we could have got the Charizard GX, but uh, I guess it still is a hit, so we can't really complain. But. Yeah, that is it for this video. So we got a Imakuni's Doduo Secret Rare, a Salazzle GX, and a Zamazenta promo in terms of our hits, quote unquote. And also we have this little pin, uh, which I don't really care for, but this figure right here is actually, um, it's not weighty, but there's definitely, it's not like cheaply made, especially like the base of this. It seems uh, pretty sturdy and everything like that. So yeah. Very happy with this box, especially this figure and also the promo code. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this collection box. Hopefully it was exciting. For me, unfortunately, we only got one hit, so it wasn't really too exciting, but hopefully you guys still enjoyed it. But yeah, what I'll be opening right after this video is um, the Zacian collection box. So please stay tuned for that. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please like the video if you liked it. Subscribe for more content like this. And please turn on the bell notification for future videos like the Zacian box that will be coming out very soon. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.